What's poppin', what's poppin'? See, I love paying my respects to the photographers that came before me. This is uh, Ansela Adams, one of the greatest photographers. You know, just go do your research on him if you're into photography and stuff like that. Uh, Very important guy. He was really on the uh, technical side of things, so that's um, that's a good look also. But yeah, I always love paying my respects to photographers that came before me because, you know, through through their work like we still live on their work still uh, lives on to this day those old videos still lives on and you know and a a couple more years from now our videos and our pictures will still live on so it just it's just an honor to pay them respect so getting back to the basics see in life sometimes it don't matter sometimes when you coming up when you uh when you're at rock bottom just, just at any spot in your life, you can always get um, off tracks of to what your goal is, you know, to what your mission is, you know, especially for like young guys or guys who don't have um, direction like that and you're seeking direction, you can be uh, living a life that's not the life that you wanted, you know, that you think you want because you veered off from the basics, from your plan. See, in life, you always have to get back to the basics. Always get back to the basics. You know, like for me, I want a simple life. Photography, old school cars, and (laughs) music. That's it. You know, that's my life. Simple. And now I'm back to that. You know, I'm back to that. So that's how you got to look at your life. You have to always get back to the basics. Keep your life simple. You know, have your vision board. Stay on track with that because if you don't, everything that come at you will be able to knock you off, to knock you off that path, you know. So it's going to be times where you get knocked off that path and you got to get get back to the basics, you know. You always have to go back to that shit. See, we tend to complicate life when it doesn't have to be complicated. <laughs> That's why you keep a journal. That's why you keep a vision board. That's why every day you're writing ideas for your life, you know, for your life. When things start going, when you everywhere, we start going everywhere, and it's like your mind going in different spots. No, calm down. Get back to the basics. Get back to what got you there. Get back to the things that you love to do. Get back to those simple things. And another thing, every man should have his own philosophy, you know, yeah, it's okay to listen, like, even me, including me, it's okay to listen to the things that I say, but at the end of the day, you should have your own philosophy about life, you know, the way you live in should be your philosophy, you know, you don't want, like, like I always say, you don't want to be a copy version of anybody else, so whatever it takes to break away from being a copy, you have to break away from that shit, <laughs> You have to, and you have to create your own identity. You know, you have to have your own identity. I have my own identity. 
You know, it's days where I don't post nothing. And all day is people sending me classic cars, people sending me black and white photography, people send, you know, people sending me stuff that's like <laughs> stuff they know that, you know, that I love. You know, I have an identity. And it took me a while to find my identity. You know, it took me a while. And it's no way to find it on purpose. No, it's going to come when you work and it's going to come when you when you cleared out your mind of all the other bullshit. You know, when you not when you follow your own mind, that's really when it's going to come when you following your own mind. You know, even if you feel lost, cool. During that times you feel lost, you're going to come up with your own philosophies. You're going to, you're going to overcome mistakes. You're going to overcome stuff. And you're like, damn, okay, this how I did that. And that's how you come up with your own philosophy. You know, you don't want to be out here not being yourself. You know, and I know I always talk about that, but it's something I had to learn too. <laughs> it's something I had to learn too. You know, whatever it takes, man, stand on your own rock. Damn. Like, stand on your own rock, man. I'm telling you, because it's going to feel way better when you are your own man, when you have your own philosophy for life. You know? That's very important to have your own philosophy. And this video is going to be short because I'm about to get out and uh, go to work. And, you know, I, I'm working on my next photography book. And, man, it's, it just feels so good that I know I'm not a follower. I'm not, you know... Even if I had to uh, break away from certain things that I feel good within myself, you know, and it's back to the fucking basics. Let's go.